have such sights to show you. Welcome to Nightmare on Earth. I can control myself. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Josh from Nightmare on Woodsboro Lake. Um, sorry, I've been feeling kind of under the weather this morning since I woke up. Uh, but today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Puniverse. Now, I've seen the original Blood and Honey. Um, I talked with uh, Nikolai Leon, who played Christopher Robin in the first film. Um, and I've been talking to Craig Dowsett right now. Um, I'm going to have him on the channel here shortly. Um, but I did not get the chance to see Blood and Honey 2. I've been so stoked to watch it. It's just that when it landed in the theater for a few select showings where I live, I was at work and I was super bummed because I would have loved to like see it in cinema. Um, but now I'm left waiting for whenever it's either going to come out for like purchase or streaming or whatever and I'm kind of bummed. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about the sequel. Um, and you know just looking at like the trailer for Bambi the Reckoning and seeing the poster for um, the Twisted Childhood um, universe, the, the Puniverse. Um, I'm very interested to see where they go with all these characters and these stories, because I know we're getting Pinocchio Unstrung, we're getting Bambi the Reckoning, um, we're getting a Blood and Honey 3, uh, we're getting Peter Pan's Neverland Nightmares, uh, there's a Cinderella one, I can't remember the title of the Cinderella one, but we've got a lot of stuff coming from them, and I'm, I'm excited to see where they take things, because, you know, everybody loves a good, like, you know twisted like telling of like you know old stories you know when they take kind of like how you think about sorry i'm trying to get my thoughts and i feel like crap um look at the original like the darker grim stories that are like stories that we all know and love as kids like the like the dolled up not so dark versions I love the dark versions I love like like the tales that just get real dark and gritty um, and and seeing those versions of those stories um, so I'm I'm one of those people who's down for this I mean I know there's a lot of people who are naysayers and they hate <clears throat> it's understandable it's not for everybody I love watching some you know not so serious horror movies too you know ones that poke fun at like certain properties or um, characters I'm in, I'm into that it's fun I, I love to see where you know people's imagination runs wild so I'm I'm totally up for the Puniverse I'm like I said anxiously waiting uh, the chance to finally watch Bill and Honey 2 um, we just don't know. It's. I think they said somebody mentioned like um, the summer, maybe, which is not too far away. Thank God. I mean, I'd love to see it before that, but I'll take what I can get. Um. But yeah, like you know, the the first Blood and Honey, it knew what it was. It wasn't trying. I mean, it was. It had some dark tones and some very serious moments to it, and. Um. But it knew what it was. It knew it wasn't like... I can't even really compare it to like... Because look how schlocky Friday the 13th and like Nightmare on Elm Street can be. And like, you know, um, a lot of these films. You know, um, I guess compared to like maybe your more serious, darker films like... Oh man, why am I drawing blanks this morning? Guys, guys, what are we doing? What are we doing? Um, I 
don't know, because a lot of them are very, like, campy, you know? I don't think I've watched... I mean, I've obviously I've watched movies that aren't super campy, but, like, the majority of movies are campy. So, and I'm, I'm at a loss for, like, thoughts right this morning, but, you know, it's not trying to be, like, a, a serious Hollywood, like, dramatic kind of horror. I mean, it has some dramatic elements to it, but it's not, that's not the direction that it's fully invested in, and I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I love the campy. I love campy films, so... I, like I said, to sum it up, I'm excited for the Pooniverse. Um, if anyone's out there and can help me watch Blood and Honey 2 somehow, let me know. Otherwise, I will patiently wait. I mean, obviously, I don't want to, like, have stolen or, like, somebody videotaping the film. Like, um, I don't know. I guess at that point I might as well just wait for them to release it um because I'm not into like illegal stuff like that um I feel like these people work hard on these films the least you can do is either pay to go see the film or if you're really not that interested at least stream it on a like legal platform like you know Peacock, Netflix all the above um yeah those are just my thoughts um, I saw Bambi the Reckoning trailer, and for being like a CGI deer, it was pretty fun, uh, seeing it flip the car, and like, just like, it had that tone, and you know that, you know the dude in the opening scene killed Bambi's mom, it's, it's just given, you're like, oh, you're the motherfucker, <laughs> who did it? Um, so, love it, it's gonna be fun, you know, it's gonna be some campy, Twisted Disney mayhem, and I'm for it. Let's go. Um, but yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've seen Blood and Honey too. What were your thoughts? Like, I mean, I'm not gonna let anybody like dictate how I see the film or what I do because you know, like I've always said, um, you know, opinions are relevant to the individual. You know, you might like something that I hate, I might hate so, or I might like something that you hate, vice versa, all around, or like, you know, opinions differ, and I'm not going to hate you for your opinion. So leave me an opinion below, uh, thoughts, um, no spoilers, please, I'm waiting for Blood and Honey 2 with bated breath here, because I want to like experience it to its fullness, um, but yeah, I'd love to hear hear from you guys so always feel free to comment um or hit me up on my instagram nightmare on woodsboro lake tm um i always respond uh you don't have to worry about that i'm not a, a dick so um yeah well, thank you guys so much for tuning in listen to me ramble a little bit um i'm uh excited to see where this goes and if you haven't yet um uh, my um, Indiegogo is up for Nocturnum. Um, so my previous films I did all pretty much on my own. This film, I have a lot of people interested in doing, you know, sound design, lighting, uh, acting, helping direct and write. Um, I have people that are interested in also, um, being like script supervisor. I've got like all the jobs that people are very interested in, in working on this film. And I can tell you right now, this is going to have quite the twist. This film is going to like, you, you're not even going to know what to do with yourself. I'm so excited. I've been writing this script for a while. Um, but it would really be awesome to have support from everyone in the horror community. Even the littlest amount helps. Um, helps me get props. Uh, helps me compensate these folks that want to help me out. Um, and... We can do practical, more practical effects, um, <clears throat> you know, secure locations that are good for the film, not just janky shot, you know, I have big plans. This film, I have big plans for this film, and I'm really excited to take you on this journey with me. So I will leave a link to my Indiegogo 
please consider checking it out. Um, we do have some perks offered. I'm going to be posting more perks and <clears throat> things that you can get. But um, yeah, I'm super excited for this film. Like, uh, if I wasn't sick, I'm, I'm sure it would come through a lot more. Because right now I kind of sound melancholy. But no, I am super stoked about this. My buddies and I have all been talking about it. I've got all this stuff like lined up that I want to do and like people that I'm talking to and I mean this has potential and this is a fan this is a, a, a horror film for the fans of horror by someone who loves horror dearly like I have been nothing but horror my whole life I mean aside from being like when I was six or seven like I was afraid of the horror section like but once my aunt or like showed me my first horror movie it took off from there I it went from being like this um, fear to like curiosity to just full-blown love for the genre and the subgenre so please and thank you <laughs> uh, and if you like my content whether that's my reviews my reactions I haven't done a reaction in a while uh, my reviews my skits my f original films um, anything like that or our, the interviews that I have up on here I've got so many more of those lined up too um, some exciting guests coming on um, please consider liking commenting and subscribing to the channel uh, it would mean the world to me um, and as always keep killing it out there my friends and just remember don't get caught to get you, Barbara.